Hello everybody, time for a new shave. Today I'm going to use this shaving stick. Palomoli men shaving stick, uh, classic stick here in Sweden and, and the rest of the world I th think at least. <laughs> this is a gift uh, from um, Scott Rawlinson. He sent me uh, this stick and um, i used my stick so much so it's not it's so i'm so tired today <laughs> so i see how much i'm gonna talk today but yeah my stick it was uh, empty or it, it finished a couple of months ago and i've been seeking for this stick here in sweden for a while couldn't find it nowhere I only found uh, uh, cream and uh, I bought a cream of a tub of creams, a tube of creams, and I, as I told you, tried to find this stick but couldn't find it nowhere. I know that now people stocking up these stick sticks. Uh, for the future and uh, yeah having couldn't find this, this stick uh, nowhere so i got it actually from scott rollinson so i'm really happy so i got a new panelly stick and i like this soap very much i got i don't know if you can see it three maybe three i think last time i shaved i did a video with eric anderson's uh, Owning a video where he owned uh, up my racer and uh, with a cortical edge. I'm gonna use the same razor today. I'm just adding this soap to my whiskers and I'm gonna use my brush turned by me, Emil, Emil Shaving Supplies, <laughs> like some people say. Just wet the whiskers, uh, brush. Just wet the brush a little bit and uh, start to work with the soap on my face, and hopefully, got enough soap that I can build a ladder. It usually takes a little while, suddenly, it just explodes in the face, and I think this is freaking awesome to see. As you saw, I didn't put any soap on my moustache area because it's difficult to get rid of the soap uh, from the whiskers. It feels like it's clogging up on the, this hole here. Uh, but here on the chin and cheek, I'm using the brush to massage the skin and uh, it solves the soap really nice. And build the ladder, but you, I don't use uh, the brush on my mustache area to build a ladder, so I don't want to have some lot of soap on my whiskers, just feels sticky and doesn't feel nice at all. Just adding more water here, takes a little bit longer time to create a nice ladder. When you use a stick, in my opinion at least. Well, I like this uh, really much, this stick. Very cheap, but still very nice. As you can see, lots of Nice ladder. I'm actually gonna just a little bit more water. Sorry about this laddering thing. <laughs> Yeah, like that. The 
it's gonna be really fun to get rid of these whiskers. Mm. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what it is next later today. I'm gonna put it here so okay. I'm taking the things I'm using them. Uh, this uh, shock logo on this razor uh, comes on by uh, 48 a hollow grind uh, honed by Eric Anderson with a cortical edge on it. And last time I used it, felt really nice. Now we got even more stubble, so we shall see how it works. I don't think there is no problem with it. I'm so tired I've been working so much this week. Start my work there at six o'clock, finish it five or six o'clock in the evening. So it's many hours every day. So I haven't got the time to watch YouTube videos. I'm slacking behind, sorry guys. Trying to catch up, but I'm not sure I have the time. Tomorrow, my daughter's gonna do a color race. You do a five kilometer long track. You don't have to run it, you can walk it. But it's a, I think there was about oh, just a moment. I think there is a. Uh, Five small obstacles to get over, and it's called a color race because people are throwing color powder color over the persons running that race. And when they come to the finish, they will be covered in color. <laughs> my first time I got to do it, and uh, I'm just gonna support her. With the race and keeping her company. It's really fun. See if I can take some photos and show you on the next video. Okay, second pass against the grain. Oh, sorry, so sleek. <laughs> A little bit of water there and it's slick. Edge feels really nice. Oops. So much ladder, so it runs over the spine. It feels really great. This. Oh. Oh. She did a great job, Eric. Once more. Really nice edge on that, on this razor.
you can hear it cuts really nice. Feels a little bit bitier. I told you last time, same thing, it feels more that, like you feel the edge more than when you get the E note. It's so smooth, so you actually don't feel the edge that way. If you're a Chevette shaver and you have tried using a Persona hand stripper blades or and uh, you have used a Kismet blade, the Persona hand stripper blades feels more bitier, sharper, but it feels sharper, but that doesn't mean it's sharper. But a uh, Kismet blade is more softer, and that's the different, in my opinion, with this edge on this uh, razor than a uh, G knot edge, so cortical edge feels, I don't know if every cortical edge feels like that, but this edge feels more like a, if we compare a hair shaper blade with a kismet blade, this is a hair shaper blade, personas, and uh, with a G knot you got more Softer but still sharp, equal sharp, and like a Kismet blade. And if you use D, I can't explain it better than that, sorry. <laughs> Maybe someone can tell me about the different different types of razor blades. I know that some blades are really sharp, and some blades are not so sharp. Uh, but I don't. I can't compare it with any razor blade. So I can compare it with. Hatchet blade and Kismet blade, uh, Personas and Kismet blades. Some kind of easier to feel where the blade is. Um, doesn't mean it's safer because if you do a mistake with this blade, you don't feel it so easy as I do with a chino blade. You get more more time to correct your errors. Just go rinse. Feels really great. This See, no irritation. That is something else. That's not because of the shade. But you see, nothing feels really smooth. Thank you, Scott Ronson, for this beautiful palm leaf stick, and uh, thank you for the beautiful edge on this one, Eric. You two guys, you rock. You're pure heavy metal. <laughs> And I'm gonna finish with the, uh, yeah, this is green, green soap. Uh, this is not green, more blue. It's, I don't know if you can see this, uh, John Paul guilt here. I think it's pronounced like that. This is a uh, ball. I don't use it so often, but I thought I could use it today. Just squeeze out a little bit like that, as usual. Use your hands and add it to your face. This is really, really soothing, and it's really, 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 really nice scent on it. Not strong scent at all. Very, very mild. You can feel a little bit of this John Paul Clotier scent. I like it very much. My wife likes it very much. Just gonna 
spoon is my hands. Um, I'm gonna top up, top up this shave with even more scent. Gonna use this John Paul Kiltier <laughs> perfume or, or the toilet. I don't know. I think it's or the toilet. A squeeze like that and on the neck and on my wrist here. Uh, do like that. And now, oh, it smells really nice. <laughs> that was a really beautiful shave. Liked it very much. One more last thing I'm going to tell you. These brushes, or oh, I was going to clean it just a couple of seconds. Yeah, these brushes. Um, uh, when I got the water on these brushes, you can see wet, really dripping. I'm just squeezing like that. <laughs> Sorry, uh, squeeze out the water. This brush and everything is handled. Everything is wet. Then I take it like this and just shake it. I'm gonna explain to you why I do these things with every brushes I've got and every brush I own. Every time I use them, rinse them in. Uh, hot water or hotter water and then uh, rinse it with cold water afterwards and take a towel and dry this handle up and uh, the knot I know people you have maybe seen this so many times taking the knot and gently massage it to the towel to a dry place on the towel in a couple of places like this and then you get a brush that's hopefully a little bit drier in the knot and the handle is dry there is no water on it and then i take the thing that i throw in the bathroom floor <laughs> this rack here and uh, this rack this thing here is just for the brush i leave the brush like that I let it sit there till the next time I'm gonna use this brush on another brush. Because if I put this brush upside down like this and you put this in, uh, to a wet surface, you maybe dry it, but you got some moisture water here. I put it on the cupboard in here somewhere. I put it like that. This is clear coat. I know that this clear coat will be doesn't look so great after a day's uh, resting on water. So it's not because I have done this, I do this everything to every brushes I use. It doesn't matter if I use this brush with a plastic handle with a bore brush or I use oops, a skull brush like this. It doesn't matter. I always take the brush and rinse it off and store it like this. And let it dry, add dry, and that's it's really great. And this is not a small future here. You can take your razor when you have clean the razor and put the razor like that on this case. It looks really beautiful. And uh, just a tip: clean your brushes and take care of your brushes. And I know this is wood, so it's. Of course, clear coated, but I know I sold a couple of these brush handles and gave them to way to people. Think how you handle your equipment. It doesn't matter if it's, it's a brush or a straight razor or whatever it is. Clean them, dry them, and let them add dry if there's possibilities. And if you need oil these razors, then do it. I have it here in my cupboards. There is uh, no moisture here in this toilet. There is no shower, nothing, just a sink here. And this is a dry environment and we don't have any moisture but so much moisture at least in here in sweden uh, so i have no problem with it but if there is you live in the west coast or near water some places that is hot and lots of humidity in the air i recommend you to even if you get the stainless steel razors every time you use them add a little bit oil on it and you can have these razors for many many years now oh, 20 minutes sorry <laughs> could take this 
thing in another video. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, I hope you're all gonna have a beautiful, beautiful week. I'm gonna do this, support my daughter on these calories tomorrow, and on Sunday I'm gonna back to work and work for a couple of hours, and then I'm gonna try to rest uh, a couple of hours in the evening, and then back to work again on Monday. So I have I'm really tired, but one thing more. Sweden Rock in a couple of weeks, one and a half a week, and then the Sweden Rock starts, and then I'm having a vacation. So maybe next time it's going to be a real pure whole rock show. We shall see. Thank you everybody for watching, and I know this is a long video. Apologize. Have a great, great video. Bye bye.